Good morning. Hi, I'm Paul Begley. There's a hurricane now forming just off, not far from the Caribbean islands. There's a hurricane down near the bottom part where the Gulf of Mexico. There's a threat that a potential hurricane is going to enter into the Gulf of Mexico right on the, here we are on the 67th day since the oil well, um, the deep water horizon exploded and killed 11 people on, on uh, April the 20th, 2010. And a mile below the surface of the water, there's an oil, runaway well pouring out, spewing out oil continuously at nearly 3 million gallons a day. What's it got to do with the Bible? Revelation chapter 16. Let me read to you. There's seven vials of the outpouring of the wrath of God. And the second vial says this. Revelation 16 verse 3. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea. And it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. That's why they're going to have to get everybody evacuated. we got to get people out of the water. Because the hurricane, if it's coming, if it's not this hurricane, it's the next one forming or the one after that. But there's no way we're going to get through this season without a major hurricane in the Gulf. Now let me tell you why. Look at verse 4. The third vial. Here's what it says. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers. That's fresh water. The rivers and fountains of waters. Okay or streams and they became blood this is the acid rain this is the prediction that scientists are highly concerned about that this not only does this oil as the big blobs have come up on the this the white sandy beaches of Pensacola even a, a stretch of nearly a mile long near the Alabama line was closed this morning shut it down seven days ago President Barack Obama was walking along with Governor Charlie Crist eating a snow cone and, they, and, and he went out and played some golf saying, come on down everybody, come on down. Well, come on down. Seven days later, the beach is closed. There's blobs of, of clotted dead men's blood oil laying all over. There's dead fish, pelicans, birds, dolphins. It's getting, it's, it's nasty what's happening. It's horrible. And now the threat of a hurricane. And that hurricane will bring the winds and the waves and the sea and the lightning and the thunderings from heaven. And as that rain starts to come down into the fresh water inland, the oil will pour in inland from the rain, the acid rain. And that will be the outpouring of the third vial which will then affect the drinking water and the daily use of water of the people down in the Gulf. So, and what about St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay when the hurricane stirs up the entire Gulf? What about the coast of Texas who think they're immune from the whole situation? What's happening is the Bible's prophetic Prophecies are coming to pass right before our eyes. Economically, we're, we're, we're falling down to the morsel of bread. We're a debt. Our debt is the highest it's ever been in history. Unemployment's nearly 17%. We, uh, the stimulus package, where's all those shovel-ready jobs? Everybody, there's a turn. We need to repent. We need to come to Jesus Christ. There's wars. There's rumors of wars. There's a holy jihad right now with these radical Muslims. This world is facing a crux. It's hit the critical point. And the Lamb of God will soon return. When? I don't know. It may not even be in our lifetime. When you talk about these seven vows, I had people say, Paul, you're, 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 you're talking about doomsday. Are you telling us what? The world's coming to end tomorrow? No. No, it could take a hundred years to get through these seven vials. There's the plagues of the earth. There's the scorching of heat. There's the rise of the Antichrist and the beast and the false prophet. But how quickly can things happen also? 67 days ago, we weren't even dreaming about this day. I'm Paul Begley, and this has been an update on the oil spill in the Gulf.